uh, Joe from Palace just went through this. If, if you could use the raise the hand um, thing, so to speak, uh, that would be very helpful. Um, if you want to ask a question, we will, of course, start with Vinny. How could we not? Um, but Vinny, <laughs> first two, and then I would like to uh, go through the press a bit. Those of you who know how to use it, please do use the uh, raise your hand thing on participants, and I'll get to as many of you as we can. Uh, Vinny, kick us off, please. Jürgen, well done tonight. So many good things to talk about. All four goals. Fabinho's pass for Moes. Um, but before the game, you said to me, after watching City the other night, you couldn't quite believe how one team would be so far ahead of them. Have your team kind of given you an answer to that this evening? I'm not sure. Um, it's been showed a lot, if not everything, what um, <sighs> helped us in, this, in the position we are now. Because it's, it's, uh, they're obviously... Different ways of football, different ways um, you can play this game, but um, you don't have to compare it, so it's not too important. What I saw tonight, and I wanted to have that before the before this part of the season, and when I when I said to the boys, I want to see actually the best behind closed doors football ever, and not I'm not sure if it was the best football, it was for sure the best counter pressing behind closed doors ever. The attitude we showed tonight, the passion we showed, um, was exceptional. And we played some outstanding football. The, score, the goals we scored were exceptional. So in my job, usually I have to calm things down and say, no, 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 that was not that good and we can improve. And we can improve. I know that. But that's not important tonight. Tonight is only important that we that we gave this this sign and we that we showed um, our supporters the respect they deserve, that we can play like they are here even when they are not here. Yes, they can push us to incredible things and without them it's nothing like it is when they are here. And I never miss them more than tonight because imagine this game would have happened um, with 55,000 people in the stadium and, and, um, yeah, and the emotions which would have been then in the stadium, that would have been incredible. But we cannot have that in a moment. And so it was important that we showed our respect to the people. And that was what the boys did tonight. And I loved it. I'm guessing that your expectation will still be that you will have points still to get to win the title when you go to the Etihad. That said, you could be crowned champions tomorrow night. So how will you deal with that situation? Will you watch it? Will you link up with the boys on a on a video call while you're all watching it because it's a very different situation to kind of celebrate isn't it? If you were to win the title well, i watch the game tomorrow night not to prepare a celebration i watch the game because we play against city a week later um so i have to watch it um and especially against chelsea which we play as well so this game is a really important game to watch um for plenty of reasons and whatever happens tomorrow night we cannot we have no influence on it and so i'm not too much interested to be honest um, but I'm pretty sure, anyway, the game next week against Man City is um, a must-watch for each football fan on this planet um, because whatever will be there decided or not, um, two really good teams face each other and that will, um, that will be pretty interesting, to be honest. There's no hands up on the device. Uh, I know Rob Harris asked a question on the chat to say that he couldn't find it. Rob, does that mean you want to ask a question? Um, and if so, if you want to turn your uh, Rob Harris from uh, AP, if you want to turn him and uh, ask a question, there you go, Rob, yeah. Um, it was just sort of following up from what Vinny said. Are you going to do anything to try to connect the team tomorrow night to watch? So if there is a moment of glory that you are together in some way, even though you're distant, or you're just not thinking that ahead? So I'm not involved in things like this. Huh? I have nothing to do with these things. I watch the game tomorrow night. Um, for yeah, to know what City is doing and to know what Chelsea is doing when we play them, kind of having kind of an idea at least. Um, that's why I watch it. I have really nothing to do with any other things, and I don't think it's we 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 we, we, are, we don't plan things like that. So uh, we want to play this game tonight. We wanna we wanna have um, this result. I'm not sure I wanted that before the game. I would have taken each result which gives up three points. But I love the performance from tonight and all the rest. Uh, will happen when it happens. So uh, I'm really not too much interested in that. So how I said, this night could have been better with people in the stadium, with my f family in the stadium. It would have been really nice because it's an important game. It was an important step for us, 100%. It was a sensational football game. And it would really would have wished for all people who are usually here that they could have been here, but they couldn't. And so we made them 
we made them night anyway, if you want. So they watch the game at home and um, I, 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 I hope I see one time how the people reacted when we scored the goals. That would be really nice um, if, I, if I can some can have some pictures from that because that's why we are doing it and no other reason. Okay, great. Thank you, Rob. Uh, Paul Joyce, and just, uh, we don't seem to have the hands up function or raise hand function. So for those of you who want to ask a question, you have my mobile, if you want to text or WhatsApp, I'll get to you. But Paul Joyce is uh, off mute. Joyce, do you want to uh, fire away? Jürgen, where does the ability to have that intensity from the players and, and perform as so specially as they did tonight, where does that come from? Is it just in them or did you have to give a speech before the game? <laughs> I'm not sure if I have to, but I do. If I do, I have to do a speech before the game, but I do. Um, yeah, but the boys themselves love the way we play, so they know that that made us successful, and they they want to do these things. You saw that after we we changed it up. We, we had a lot of good games, obviously, in the last couple of years, um, but I can't remember a four nil. Anyway, I cannot remember a lot of 4-0s, but I cannot remember 4-0 after 80 minutes or so. And then if uh, a, a player from the other team wins a ball, four players chasing like it's the only ball um, left on this planet. Um, that I, I, I really like that. And that's us. That, that's us. There are different ways to play football, but this is us. You want to have the ball, we can have it, but we want to have it back. Pretty much, and when we have the ball anyway, then we do some good stuff with it. That's that's us. It, and um, I don't want to be too too positive about it, but I don't find any negative in this game. To be honest, it's, if I if I would now try to to search negatives, I, I can't remember. Oh yes, we missed chances, but that's football. So we could have scored more. Yes, but it's that's football. But um, the way we played tonight was really exceptional. Okay, got Don King and then Carl Markham. And at the moment, they're the last two questions unless someone comes to me otherwise. So Don first uh, and then Carl. Hi, Jürgen. Um, there's a stat out that um, you didn't let Crystal Palace have a touch in your area. It's the first time that that's happened since stats were come by Opta were out since 2008. It must sort of show how sort of um, hungry and greedy your team were to... to to just keep that clean sheet and the intensity to keep going. It's quite, it's quite some feat that to not let the uh, Premier League team have a touch in your, your area. You should not underestimate how much this team wants it. Uh. You should not. This team really wants it. They want to um, fulfill the wishes of the people at home, really. Um, we have all a common dream, and we, but we have to work for it. And we have to work our way for it. We cannot play like other teams, but we can play pretty good stuff. And that's what the boys did tonight. And uh, yeah, we, when we spoke after the game, um, uh, it was a clean sheet, but it was um, usually in a clean sheet. Ali is massively involved um, in this clean sheet. His involvement was not too too big. He anyway, he deserves it. And um, so, yeah, the game was exceptional. Yeah, from... Uh, Talking football, from so many points of view, it was exceptional. Uh, it's so difficult against a 5 4 5 1, how we push them back, find spaces. The, the, the free kick, of course, of Trent, exceptional. But we had many, many situations where Crystal Palace had to make a foul around the box. So that's that's how it is because it, it was no harsh fouls or whatever. It was just little things, but it's a free kick. Then the second goal is wonderful pass from Fabinho and Mo and a sensational finish. The third goal was then Fabinho. Yes, he showed us already um, against Manchester City can do that, but we never gave, gave up. And then the fourth goal, what a pass from Mo. And, and Sadio uh, finished the situation up. Exceptional. So um, there were so, so many good things, um, even when we didn't score. And especially when, they, when, when, when the kids came on, um, when, we, when we made the, the subs, um, how they were involved immediately. Um, could have scored, obviously, as well. Crazy enough. And um, so, yeah, I, this, is, this game will last a while in my mind. This is for us, the, that's what we want to be. That's what we have to show against each and everybody. Okay, Thank, thanks, you. Thank you. And then, uh, finally, to finish the press conference, uh, Carl Markham. You'd like to uh, switch off the new car. Um, not we can do it for you. Hi, Jürgen. Um, we seem to have spoken a lot this season about how you're playing a lot of games in a short period of time. You've now got you know, another, you've got eight days to wait for your next game. I'm just wondering 
this performance and intensity showed in that how you, how you sort of maintain that or bottle that for the whole for eight days now. You you played two games and four games now. You've got eight games to the next one. How do they maintain this intensity when there's such a big gap? Been incredibly difficult. Difficult. That's how it is. It was clear that we have these the first two games in in pretty much three days, which is difficult. Other teams said it as well. I only mention it. Um, then eight days off. Nobody wants that. That's how it is. But because of the city of because of the situation with City, how many games they play, and the competitions they are, and FA still wants to have their games at the weekend, there was not big chance, I think, for the Premier League to do it differently. And after that, it will be really, really tough. With um, four games in nine days, and I'm not sure if the last three games are already or the last three games are already set. I don't know, um, but it's like it is. So we need to find solutions, and um, we need all the boys. And that's why I'm so happy how the how the boys um, contributed tonight when they came on, um, and even the boys not on the pitch, exceptionally, exceptionally in, in training, and, and so that helps. Now we will then need them all. Um, and they will all play. They will all have game time, which is nice. But um, the, the, we cannot change just like we want, like eight, nine, ten players or whatever. And, and um, we have to uh, we have to dig in and to get through that. And I hope we will. Guys, thank you very much. Boss, thank you. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye.